Hey everybody, you know I wanted to do this yesterday and what I'm about to do you may say while well, you're rubbing it in our faces. Well you know what? I'm not the only one. But last night, last night in one of the most hostile cities, in one of the most hostile stadiums, which houses the most one of the most hostile environments, the San Francisco Giants who I am proud to say I'm a fan of because I live right here in California in the Central Valley Bay Area section. <laughs> the San Francisco Giants are going to the World Series beating Philadelphia. And you know why they went to the World Series? Because, and with all due respect to the Philly fans, I have a lot of respect for you guys, but your team apparently started to have an attitude as soon as they got home. And you, the fans, the Philadelphia fans, with all due respect, one of the most hardcore fan bases in any sport, any time, you guys brought it on yourselves. I'm not lying. You want to make noise when a pitcher from the opposite team is trying to pitch and concentrate? You're throwing them off? That's called cheating. Yeah, they say, it's, well, you got to cheer. You got to give your team the advantage. That is true. Not saying San Francisco wouldn't do that. Not saying the fans here, like myself, wouldn't do that for the Giants. But let me tell you this you guys were way too loud. Way too loud. Yeah, Giant fans get the same way. Ranger fans are going to get the same way. Yankee fans get the same way. They do it. But let me tell you this you guys got way too loud. You were shaking the camera with your vibration. It's unfair. It's unfair. Yes, your team's one of the best teams in baseball. There's no doubt about it. My brother-in-law said he wouldn't have been surprised if you guys came back and won. But let me tell you this. Let me tell you this right off the bat. You guys, your team, and even you fans, with all due respect, got a little too confident. You guys got a little too confident because you were being played in Citizen Bank Park. You guys got a little too confident, and that's what cost you. That's what cost you. And now you got to sit at home and watch what the world has been wanting to see. Because you see, this one thing, one thing my father taught me, one thing my father taught me is if there's one series, if there's one world championship game or series that fans want to see most of, they want to see a world championship series or game involving two teams, teams that are from the West and the Midwest, or the West and the South. Teams in the East, no problem. But when teams in the East have money shoving it out to get all the best players, guess what? It doesn't help you guys, no, does it? Because what they want is real players who really want it, who are hungrier than just those you shove out your money, money to. Again, I have all the respect for the Philly fans and for the Philadelphia Phillies. You guys did a great job getting as far as you did. But the truth is, you brought it on yourselves, and now you're going to have to watch it, up, watch it at home. Maybe next year when you guys make the playoffs, if you do, and you get as far as you did this year, maybe you'll think, Okay, let's not be so loud. Let's make it a fair, even game. Yeah, I may get some hate mail right now. Hate comments and all that. But you know what? It's a free country. I can say what I want. And all I'm going to say is you're going to have to sit back and watch what a true World Series game is about. Between two teams that really want it, two teams that have never won a World Series, and they're going to prove to you what true baseball championship games are about. That is the truth, my friends. And I guarantee you, by the end of that series, whether it goes four to five to six to seven games, hell, hell, I won't be surprised if it goes seven games. But I guarantee you this. That will be the most watched series ever. Just like the California one was with Oakland and San Fran, just like Anaheim and San Fran, just like St. Louis when they went to the World Series.
and face the Detroit Tigers. Just like with Chicago, those games are most watched because those teams are real. They don't shelve out their bank account, go bankrupt to get some of the best players. But with all due respect, again, I can give my congrats to the Phillies to getting as far as they did, but now you have to see and watch what a real team does. A team that doesn't depend on money, spending themselves in the bankruptcy, you guys and the Yankees are going to have to see what, how it's really done. Period. Oh, and in closing, a message to Raul Labanez and Mike Sweeney of the Phillies. Yeah, you guys got to the playoffs. You guys got to the championships. But now you guys are going leaving Kansas City? I think you guys are. If I was you and your contracts come up soon, go back to KC. Alright? That's all I'm going to say because here's my prediction. You see this? You see this? It's going to be four to three. It's going to be a seven gamer. But that four games goes to the Giants. Guarantee it. Giants are bringing the World Series here. The World Series title, championship trophy, here to the Bay Area. God bless, take care, all due respect. And in closing, I give all my due respect and respect and everything to the Yankees and the Phillies for making it as far as you guys did. But again, in closing, you guys are going to see what a true World Series championship game series is all about. God bless and take care.